this is Rachel Montgomery, and you're watching The Ultimate TV. Hey. Hi. Keep watching. Once the story has already been done, mm. how do you go about selecting the voices of the characters? You, you have an idea in your head of what you think it's going to be like, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and then we, in, in the UK, you know, we're, we're sport for choice. There's lots of great actors to choose from. They all seem happy to work with us, which I like. Um, I appreciate that. Uh, it was fun working with some non-UK actors, though, as well, because I've done, you know, I've done the old English actors before. So right. it was great working with, like, with Jeremy Piven mm -hmm. and Anton Yelchin, you know, Salma Hayek. These were great people to work with, you know. Um, I, I recorded Jeremy and Anton in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. I recorded Salma in Paris. Wow. I don't mind. That was no hardship. That was okay. Yeah. And you know, it's 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 great to work with these good actors. You know, yeah. not because I mean, I, not because they're big stars, though they are big stars. But that's that's not it. But it's it's because they're good actors. You know, and they work really hard for you, mm -hmm. and they're good fun. Mm -hmm. And and you 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 start the day with some old words on the page. And then when you finish the day, you've got a living performance. It's a lovely thing. Well, was it easy for you to work with the talent in studio to bring some of their personalities out? Yes, it was. I mean, it was. Um, I mean, Jeremy Piven was a great example because he, his background is like a stand-up, so he's very funny at, at improv, mm -hmm. and uh, he read the script. He liked the script. He got the part completely, you know. And then he, and then he. He came to the into the sounds, into the sound stage, and played with it, and just and 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 found it. You know, found the character. Uh, I love that. And then, like with David Tennant, he's basically almost known like as a strict Shakespearean actor. Yeah. You think he was going to play Charles Darwin straight? Um, I didn't know how much fun he'd be. I. It's interesting because you're right. I. That's I, what he's known for. Yeah, I'd never seen him doing. Comedy before, really. Not comedy. I mean, he's, he's, he's quite. He's done some light stuff. Oh, yeah, I mean, you talk about Shakespeare. He's done. He's recently done one of the Shakespeare comedies and some. Like you what know, you do about nothing. one of those guys. I can't remember yeah. what it was. And he was apparently he was very funny. But so he, so he comes in. Cl a classic act, like you say. Um, but he found so much fun in the role. I mean, he was great vocally. He was also great physically. Uh, some actors just come into the studio and they just read off the page and that's, kind of, that's what they're asked to do because it's just for their voice. But uh, David would come in and he'd be, not only would he be acting his lines, but also he'd be reacting to the other actor the whole time. So when the other guy's talking, he's all like nervous and oof, doing all this stuff off, off camera, off, off mic as it were. And we loved it. So we recorded everything he did because it gave us some real inspiration. Because I think I saw a little bit of that um, in one of the scenes where it was like, <gasps> and it's, it, you could almost feel like he was there. Yeah, what's well, it? It is amazing. I still think it's such an amazing illusion that you get a scene with two or three characters talking together, and you would never believe that they weren't together. You know, that sounds so real mm -hmm. and looks so real. It's all, all the yes. You know, one guy says something, and the other guy. Reacts even if it's, if it's just like the eyes going wide and, and a nervous look around, um, and it just looks and sounds completely as if they were in the same room together, whereas in fact they weren't. You know, they were recorded months apart in, in different parts of the world. Because I was going to ask you, did they ever have the opportunity to be together, um, to bounce off each other? Because they felt like they.